Hello and welcome to today's episode of T-Sarp. I'm your host, Andrew Weir, and today is the 137th episode, and our co-host is Steven. Hi, guys. So, today, I thought the biggest news was gonna be in brackets, okay? Because today just got released out brackets, a competition where it's basically the Hopog in brackets, but with Miniola, Belmore Merrick, and of course, Hopog. And that's crazy news, that's really exciting. But I'm sadly going to have to put that to the side for more incredible news. Um, so, I wanted to do an episode on TSARP about why you should get the Kadoyo Passport. Because, I mean, I have it, Steven has it, and we really like it, you know. Yeah. And now that summer's coming up, I was like, this is the best time to do it, since students aren't going to have Kadoyo unless they have the passport. So that gave me the idea. I was like, I'll put my Kidoyo Passport redemption code, or not redemption code, referral code in the description so people can get 500 mentor tokens for free, and I'll get 500 mentor tokens for free. Um, it might be more like 450 for me and 550 for them. I forget the actual thing, but it's around that. So I was like, you know what would be cool? You know, if we had one that instead of with a bunch of random letters at the end, we had TSARP. So it was allyoclass.com slash kidoyo slash passport slash TSARP. And I was like, that would be kind of cool, you know. Um, I don't know if they could do that or not. So I just sent it over to Dev. I was like, I don't know if you could do it, but here's my idea. And yesterday he was like, uh, sorry, I'm kind of busy. I read what you said. All good ideas. Let me get back to you when I can. Um, so then today, um, I just told him that we were thinking of doing it on Friday. Um, I understood if, like, he couldn't do it. Um, and then he replies, um, here's what I can do. And basically, he gave us three free redemption codes for the Kidoyo Passport. And we can use them on whatever we want. So, of course, we're not going to use them on ourselves. That wasn't the intention, and that's not what we're going to do. Yeah. Um, and then he also said that I can still use, you know, my regular redemption um, referral code. Um, just they're not able to make custom ones. Um, which, I mean, it's amazing. He gave us three free redemption codes. So, of course, we're going to do competitions. Um, we're going to do, um, I, I guess, maybe one, like, just giveaway, you know, because... I yeah. mean, everyone should be entitled to them. I don't want it, like, I want them to go to some of the best coders, you know, do, like, a competition. But I feel like everyone should have the opportunity to, you know, get the passport. Because if you don't have the passport, how are you going to get good at coding? Um, so you can't win a competition if you can't learn. And without the passport, it makes it harder to learn. Um, so, yeah, so he's like, so that was just amazing. Then, um... Yeah, I, I was just, I read the message, and Steve and I were on a call, like, I don't know, like, 30 minutes ago, and I just, I was like, this is crazy, and it even took me a little while to tell him, because I was just very excited, um, but yeah, so this is awesome, we're gonna be doing some awesome competitions, um, giveaways, I mean, we just, ideas are flowing, um, so this is the best time to start listening to the podcast, so you know, or regularly, you know, of course, if you're listening now, you listen, uh, but regularly, you know, because we'll be releasing info on how to enter these things, um, and yeah, I mean, if you guys have any ideas on to how we could do this, competitions, giveaways, please send them in, um, I mean, I have ideas, but I love to hear your ideas, so yeah, I mean, this is just really exciting. So, one idea is I might, this is just an idea, um, but I think maybe we could give one of these free passports away to the winner of the out brackets. But then that's, again, that's, that's like a nice out idea. Bracket. Yeah, that's like out brackets. I kind of want to yeah. make it more just like TSAR focused. I don't know. I have a lot of ideas. That might be something we can do. We might be able to do that. I don't know. There might be other reasons we can't do that. Um, but that was just an instant idea I had. Um, so we're going to be thinking, coming up with ideas, you know, um, brainstorming. But figured I would let you guys know that so you can get excited for some upcoming s events, you know. Be so excited. On, be excited. So on to the, what we thought was going to be the main focus, out brackets. So to better explain what out brackets is, it's going to be a game jam, which most of you are familiar with where each, uh, for, where I believe it's 15 students from every school. So that is Hopog, Miniola, and Belmore Merrick. Um, 
Mr. Farrar did say that could be extended if there is a large, um, you know, <laughs> a lot of people signing up who want to be in it and there's not enough spots that there might be a chance to expand that. Um, yeah. But for now, it's 15 students from each school. The theme is Eagles, Mustangs, and Rams. Um, so, of course, those are the mascots, you know, from um, all the different schools, the three different schools. So you're probably wondering, well, what do I get if I win? Well, you got a one-of-a-kind Kidoyo badge, which is, like, what we always do for N-Brackets, a 3D-printed golden badge, which is still what we always do for N-Brackets, and, of course, bragging rights. Which is still, like, normal in brackets. Um, but, actually, the participants get more in-out brackets than they normally do in regular in brackets. So, there's a badge on Kadoyo you get, which is normal, and a sticker, a physical, like, hackathon sticker that you'll get. So, that's pretty cool. Um, and this is all really exciting. So, if you don't know how to sign up, if you're in Hapa, go to the Kidoyo, uh, Kidoyo, um, the Hapa Coding Club Google Classroom. You can sign up in there. If you go to another school, like either Mineola or, or Belmore Merrick, um, I would contact, go on Kidoyo, maybe there's a notice there, or contact your coding teacher um, or hackathon coach. Um, hopefully I can get some more, you know, um, info about that. Um, so, yeah, it's really exciting. I know last time I checked, there was already, I think, seven people signed up for Hop Hog. So this is going really quickly. So Sam, Steven, and I already signed up. Um, and, yeah, so I would definitely get in to wherever you can really fast and sign up because it's going to be an awesome event. All the participants are going to um, be admitted into CCDU, I believe, Monday or around Monday. And it's just going to be like a hackathon map. You only get to submit one project um, per round. And it's going to be separated into Hatch, Sprite Editor, and Python. So if you make a Python game, don't worry. You're not going to be going against a Hatch game um, or a Sprite Editor game. Now, once they have a winner from each category, that will then go on to the final round where it's one Sprite Editor against one Hatch against one Python. Um, so it's really a crazy competition, and I mean, a long time ago, like a really long time ago, I want to say, well, I guess not really long, but like around probably like January um, when I started working on the In Brackets project, you know, the website, um, Mr. Ferrara was like, yeah, um, I have this idea for a... Like, and I don't know what he was... I don't... Maybe he had the name out brackets at that time. He was like calling it like a like a global brackets, you know, of course not global, but he was trying to come up with a name. Um, but basically this idea. He didn't know he was going to do it. He didn't know when he was going to do it, but he had the idea, and I always thought it was a great idea. Um, and then I want to say, like, maybe a week ago, he's like, yeah, I might have something in the works. You know, I didn't really get a big idea of what was going on. I didn't know the schools in it. I didn't know the theme. I had no idea. But he's like, I might be working on something. Um, and I guess at that time, he didn't really know if it was going to happen either. Uh, but then today, when he finally said it, I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> and it's going to be a ton of fun. And yeah, so we're going to start working on our games, um, I guess, pretty soon. Um, <laughs> and do the June or July 8th. I can't remember. July. Steven, we're out of school by July. <laughs> um, yes, uh -huh. they're due June 8th. Um, so that hopefully the voting will all be done by the end of the school year. Um, if you're wondering who, who judges them, you know, like, I hope it's not going to be a popularity contest. Well, it's not. It will be mentors from Kidoyo judging. Um, so it's really going to be an awesome event. And it really was going to be like this crazy thing. We were so happy to announce it today, thinking there was going to be nothing else big. And then, sure enough, something else big happens. Um, but yeah, so that w that it's just an awesome topic. Um, it's great because now that hackathon season o is over, we're like, hmm, I wonder what topics we're going to talk about. And now we have a great big co topic. Um, yeah. You this isn't going to happen. Let me uh, phrase what I'm going to say next. Um, but I had an idea. I was like, what if we just do like a week long live stream? <laughs> um, but oh. of course, it wouldn't, it couldn't be um, actually us doing it, you know, uh, or being on there all the time because we have school. Um, <laughs> um, also, I was thinking like maybe we could just like have the map going like on the screen. Um, but I was like, if we do that, 
it's basically going to be like the public map view. And I don't think judging, I don't know how judging is going to work. I don't think it's going to be like, like throughout the week. I think it's just going to be like released at once. So there would be nothing to watch. It was just a funny idea I came up with. Of course, nothing is going to happen like that. I can tell you that we're not going to be running a live stream. Uh, but I figured I would share that funny idea. Or funny to me. It's probably not funny to you. I think it's funny. Thank you, Steven. So, I guess that is all we have for today. All sounding like that it wasn't a lot, because that was a lot. Uh, but yeah, so thank you all to have been listening to this podcast. Um, and it's not ending. It will end at the end of the year. Um, and we will still do episodes throughout summer, just to say that. I didn't know if people knew. Um, we will be doing episodes throughout summer, probably not daily. I know that some people want us to. It's just not really feasible to do that. Um, we might change our minds, but as of now, we're not doing it daily during summer. Um, but maybe something. <laughs> we I think weekly is a good idea. Weekly is a good idea. We were also thinking live streams, possibly. Um, yeah. But yeah. So, again, like I was saying, thank you all to, uh, to everyone who listens to this podcast to make these awesome things possible you know if it wasn't for you we wouldn't be able to do these awesome things with different passport or with passport redemption codes and all different stuff it's because you listen and if you want one of those codes you'll have to listen to on the podcast and the question will be like how would we designate between teachers and students um but my i but personally i don't think any teacher is going to want a passport a because most of them have the pro passport and b because they always are in their school community. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So, it's going to be locked down to students, um, mainly because those are the people that really want the passport. And the second reason is I don't think really the passport even benefits teachers unless it's the pro passport. Um, so, anyway, thank you all for listening, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.